don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to get notified of every new video. So the other day I took a ride over to AutoZone. I needed some parts from my car. It's right down the street. So I stop in and I pick up this. After looking around for a little bit, it took me a minute to find it. But ultimately I did. So what you're looking at here is the K&N High Flow Air Filter. It's a stock airbox replacement unit. Now later on, we're gonna be swapping this out with an aftermarket cold air intake kit. So we have this old crappy coffee can looking filter contraption. We get rid of that. And go with the new K&N cotton filter. Breathes so much better. We're gonna pop that puppy in, drop that box back on top. Ooh, yes. Oh, that sounds pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. We've got that out of the way, which brings us to washer head replacement. We're going to go ahead and flip one of these out and take care of the other one. What we're going to do right now, we're going to go underneath the hood and take a look at what's going on. Alrighty, so here's where we stand. As you can see, the hole is right there. The assembly is falling through. Because that's broken. Come around to the other side. No connection, that's falling off too. Technical difficulties and there's the two. So, let's see how we do. This isn't right. As you can see by this assembly here, we twerk and, oh, okay. Fudge knuckle. Well, if that doesn't work, hit it with a hammer. And then if that doesn't work, get a bigger hammer. Yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes. But now, very important, like your mama used to teach you, clean that hole. Washer head replacements, 10 bucks at AutoZone. You can't beat it. Again, I picked those up when I picked up the filter. And installing them is very simple. There's just a little rubber washer, a little plastic nut on the bottom. If this system breaks again, it's gonna be very, very easy to go ahead and replace. But the struggle gets real. Yeah. It happens again, snap. Keep those holes clean, people. And once it is clean, you know, make sure you do the whole system. I reuse these connectors from start to finish on this project. It took me 38 minutes pulling everything apart, putting it all back together, cleaning it. Putting it back together was so easy. It, I cut out about two minutes worth of film. That's it. It went fast. Now living in Florida, your windshield washing system always has to be in top notch shape. So you gotta keep it up. And you add some debugifying Alexa. Because love bugs are the worst and most bugs in general are bigger. Suck it out good. You gotta suck it out good. And after the final clean, we'll go ahead and give it a quick test. That's right, kids. She's a success. Well, mostly. Hey, settle down, man. And this is the thing. The fluid was hitting the hood, so we just spun the head screws over and boom. There you go. We had another project to go ahead and start, which is the Kartau Mopar shifter. Take the screws out of your old shift lever, pop this thing on, pop the new screws in, and boom, five minutes later, it took me longer to clean the center console than it did to install this shifter. And for $35.99 on Amazon, you just can't go wrong. And with that, we move to the last project, hood struts. Now I couldn't be happier, praise the Lord. These things are the best, sweet baby Jesus. 
You can't beat them. I'm serious. They hold the hood open. No effort whatsoever. Five minute installation. We got our hood struts in. I'm taking a close look at these. I had to install those myself. You can still see some of the uh, focus. There we go. Still see some of the metal shavings where I had to drill out the hole. You can see I put in my own stud. I have to do the same over here. But hood struts. Hood struts. You can't go wrong with it. And for 17 bucks, this was definitely the way to go. So the idea of this video was to get her up to speed. We went ahead and replaced the windshield washer heads. We put in a brand new k and air filter. We put in a brand new shifter, the nice Mopar shifter from Cartow. And we put some hood struts in for a total of $111 and zero cents. And don't forget, stay tuned for scenes and clips from the next episode. I'm Big Lock Daddy. Thanks for watching. Coming up on episode three. Big of the big of the boys, we all racing. Oh yeah. You're gonna wanna see how this race right here turns out. It was good going down the track. Also, we're adding the power tune engine tuning module. What kind of horsepowers powers do you think we might be able to get out of that? We'll find out. And the same here, here's that cold air intake I was telling you about earlier in the video. Now that's a knife. Straight up, you don't need a knife that big to open a box that small, but hey, overkill is underrated. I'm rolling with it. That filter right there, right here, she's going to uh, get replaced. We've got a nice little downpipe here, pretty sweet, but we have no heat shield. We've got everything else, but no heat shield. We can fabricate one, but for a $45 kit, she's not bad. And also, we're going to take a look at the belly of the beast. See what's underneath as we get ready for our exhaust install. Coming very soon. Thanks for joining me here on Big Lock Daddy's Dream Machines Project Dark Horse. Stay tuned for episode three. Like and subscribe for more great content.